Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to be doing another hair video. If you've checked out my first one, you will see that that has been my most popular series. I'm going to be straightening my cousin's type 4 hair. Not quite sure if she's type 4A or 4B, but I'm going to let you guys decide in the comment section below. Um, feel free to check out my first hair video if you haven't already. I show the method that I use to straighten my own hair. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. With that, here we go. We're starting on our hair, guys. I'm gonna use... <laughs> My hair has already been washed and conditioned and detangled, but I'm going to be using a big comb, some clips, floor brush. Roughly. I cannot believe you. Bro, listen, I can explain. You are making $500,000 and you are only going to pay me 30 You want to say hey to the camera? Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 so it's going to take a while. No, no way. No, no way. No, no, no. No, you made your Summer, do you think Kia's hair is a 4B or um, a 4A? Alright, so we had a little debate over what type 4 hair my cousin had. I think it's more of a 4A texture, although her curl pattern is a 4B. But you guys comment below what hair type you think she has. Um, if you watch my first hair video, you do know that I work uh, with my hair in sections. Her hair is a lot looser than mine, so I'm able to use larger sections. But I'm going to detangle, making sure I'm starting from the ends, working my way up to the root. Cannot say that enough. Please start at the ends of your hair and work your way up. Don't forget heat protectant. Spray it throughout the hair evenly. So we're starting to blow dry her hair using the tension method. And the tension method just means you stretch the hair. You don't have to keep continuously passing a brush through it as you're stretching it with the heat. And you just continue to do that until it's dry. And then once it's already stretched, I go back in with the paddle brush to make sure it's as straight as I can get it. So I just finished the back and I want to give you guys a side view as I start on the front of her hair. So you can really see her shrinkage in this shot. Her hair draws up probably three times as short as the length of her hair, if that makes sense. Her hair is quite long, but when it's curly, it's very short. Yes! Finally, on the last side of her hair, I'm going to do um, a full spray of anti-humidifying spritz or spray and it's for curl types 3 and 4. I'm going to run that throughout her hair and comb it through and do one final pass of the blow drying. Okay. 
So, excuse the noise in the background, we were watching TV, but I did want to show you guys the actual anti-humidifying spray that I use. It's by Mazzani and it's called Thermosmooth. It's for hair types 3 and 4. I mentioned this earlier, but I wanted to show you guys how I spray it throughout the hair. I run it through with my hands and I do also follow it with a comb right before blowing it out one final time. So sometimes I don't use it, but I try to use Thermosmooth every time I straighten natural hair. It really locks in the moisture and I feel as though it keeps it from getting poofy too fast. We're finally at my favorite part of the process, which is the last part, which is flat ironing the hair. I've completely blown it out, and now I am flat ironing it at uh, 390 degrees. I'm also using my flat iron comb that you see. It's by Croc, I've had this for years, this and the flat iron, and it's not steered me wrong. As always, I work in sections, so I'm parting her hair now so that I can have smaller sections to flat iron. <laughs> she doesn't want to be still, she's getting tired, and so am I, so I'm trying to rush through this because it was pretty late at night when we filmed this. So you want to make sure you're using small sections and that you're getting close to the root and only doing one pass. If you ever watch my first hair video, you'll see the different tips that I've used to grow my hair out. And here's a really good view of how I use the flat iron comb with a flat iron. I do one pass down the hair. I try not to do more than one pass. Just going to continue to part through the hair until I get up to the top of her crown. Almost done! So you can see she has a few split ends, or actually a lot of split ends. She hadn't cut her ends in probably a year and a half, so I'm just doing a quick um, trim. And I used a white towel so that you guys could see how much I was cutting. I'm going to go through and actually make sure I snip all of her split ends. So I'm all finished. I hope you guys liked the video. Feel free to like and comment below if you found any tips useful. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye!